Hello YouTube, um, this is D-Wicked speaking and my YouTube account is D-Wicked Music TV. Today the reason why I'm creating this video today is simply because I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to use an arpeggiator on Logic Pro 9. If you don't know what an arpeggiator is, let me tell you what it is. An arpeggiator is basically the same thing as arpeggio, which basically you can compose, it's like, it's like an, 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 any ordinary arpeggio that sort of thing. You don't need to download anything, there's no downloads required, so I'm going to explain the best I can within this video. Um, okay, let's get started. First, um, install and open Logic Pro 9, which I don't need to do that because I've already done that. So here's Logic Pro 9. Then once we've done that, we'll follow the next step. The next step is once when you open up the program on your Mac computer, create a preset solid MIDI instrument. To do this, what you need to do is create an instrument, a solid instrument. So click on here, click where it says software instrument, create, go to quick create, I'll show it to you again. So go back and go, to, go on the plus sign, go on the thing where it says the plus sign, and you will see some you see a box something like this. And you have the options as audio software instrument or something MIDI, or we'll do for this tutorial software instrument. We'll click create, and then once what will you do? Once we've done that, you choose. You can choose any sound that you want, but to, to begin, what we'll just do is we'll just choose this sound. After you've done so, go to where the program says environment. You can find this by going onto the Windows key tab. Oh, and uh, yeah. This. Oh, I, uh, I'll just show you this in a second. Go to environment. Oh, there's one more thing I almost forgot. Um, create another software instrument. This just is a backup so that this technique works properly. Sorry guys, this, this is just my first tutorial, so I'm not really good at that we really do this sort of thing. Uh, one second. Oh, okay. Alright, once we've done that, uh, okay, so what we need to do now is you just click where this is, and just follow my step, so you just go here, and so what you just do is go to option, go to, sorry, go to, let's say to page data, which I don't need to do, because I've already done that, and then what we do is we're going to record something, so now what you need to do next is go to this instrument. Choose this once you open the second instrument. What you need to do is go to mixer. Okay, so this is the arpeggio we have now. So you can create this. This is where the arpeggio sound is. And what you can do is you want to mess around with it. What you can do is go to resolution. This, though. I'll personally will start off with 116. You can fiddle around with this and uh, go to the length and see the magic. Pretty cool, isn't it? So that's how you do it. You can upload this menu and you can change the octaves and you can do as many octaves as you want, you're creative, there's no exact rules for this. And uh, and the pretty cool thing you can do with this is do something like this. You can change the direction from up and down to random. I've no idea why they call it that, but this is what you can do. Alright, and then Pretty cool. So that's pretty much it. That's how you really do an, uh, an arpeggio, an, an arpeggio um, on Logic Pro 9. Um, before I finish up this video, I'm going to show you a quick track of, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you in a, um, an arpeggio I'm using for a ringtone I'm making personally during my spare time. Uh, I'm having a listen and let me know.
that's pretty much it. That's how you do an arpeggio tap. Pretty cool, isn't it? Um, don't forget to comment and subscribe if you have any questions. Please do not hesitate to contact me or you can send an inbox um, privately. You can private message me or you can just comment beneath the video and I will do my best to reply back. Um, thanks for watching guys and hopefully see you next time.